Quasi here, and in this video, I'm going to share with you the ultimate formula for manifestation. So make sure you stick around for this video, and it's going to be delivered to you in four parts. So this is part one of the ultimate manifestation formula. Before I begin this video, I want to quickly announce that I'm doing a free giveaway of my book, Life Mastery. If you want to enroll into a competition to win this book at the end of the week, just comment Life Mastery down below and we'll pick a winner at the end of the week to get this book in the ebook format. Also, I'm doing the free one-on-one -on -one consult for the Reality Mastery program still. So if you're interested in that, wait till the end of the video for the announcement. Okay, so with that, let's get started with the ultimate manifestation formula. Now, as I've studied the law of attraction for a while, and I've studied reality transurfing in particular, and works of Vadim Zeeland, which is basically a, you know, he was a quantum physicist who turned into this esoteric, you know, metaphysical teacher and author of a book called Reality Transurfing. And this is just a very powerful way of viewing reality and the events that occur in it. And it's just a quantum manifestation model. Now, in this book, he talks about a lot of concepts, and I basically think this is the Bible of manifestation. So if you haven't checked that book out yet, definitely give it a read. I know it's a big book, but you will not regret it. Now, in this book, there are essentially two models of reality. And the first model is the film and script model of viewing reality and the events in it. So really, what he says is that reality acts in a dual nature. It acts as a film and script, and it also acts as a mirror. Now, you might be wondering what those really mean. And if you don't know reality transurfing, you'll definitely be wondering that. So for that reason, I've made videos on the mirror model. So click up here to check that out. But essentially, the film and script model says that everything is unfolding in frames and that reality has scripts. Every single person has their own script and their own film role and the problem is, is that people are unconsciously living. And as a result of living unconsciously, they are subject to what is known as a predetermined script or the fate model of viewing reality. So people get subject to the fate model as a result of unconscious living and not visualizing what they want and not propelling their future frames. When you visualize, when you, you know, focus on feeling, what you're doing is you're placing a frame or a single slide. If you imagine that reality or a movie back in the day, it unfolds in singular frames. One frame is the particular reality, the particular image, the particular slide that you want to create in your life. So it's like one snapshot of reality. That's what visualizing really is. You visualize it in snapshots of what you would like in your reality. Now, thinking about that model, everything unfolds in frames. Right now, the problem is, as a result of unconscious living, you're subject to a certain frame, a certain script, sorry. You're subject to a certain script, which you didn't choose. Now, this is a problem because you didn't choose this script, but this script is already in place as a result of being unconscious. This fate has been given to you. In order to break free from this fate model, there are certain things you can do, and we'll discuss that later. So, that's essentially the film and script model of viewing reality. The second model is the mirror model. And the mirror model essentially teaches you two things. First of all, you know how to communicate with people and how people act as a mirror and how to communicate with reality and how to manipulate reality, not people, how to manipulate reality to get what you want. It says that reality acts as a dual mirror. And you know, this dual mirror is basically dual because it doesn't distinguish between the image and the reflection. As the image, so the reflection. As the reflection, so the image. The only reason all of this stuff really works is because of this mirror model. And again, we'll get into that later. And the third and final model is just taking massive action. Now, this is by far the least effective way of doing something because if you just take massive action, maybe you'll get results. But Without a vision, without any sort of propelling of the future frame, without observing the mirror principle, this action is just one part of it. So imagine watering a seed and just without sunlight, without appropriate necessary soil conditions, without atmospheric conditions, you just water the seed. It won't really grow. 
that's equivalent to just taking massive action without any sort of goal in mind. You can just take all the action you want, but if there is no goal worked towards, it'll be very, very ineffective. And there are also other things that you need to create alignment in first. So the action level is very surface level. Most people are focused on what technique they can try, what they can do to get to their goal. Whenever you ask people you know, to think of a goal, they immediately ask, how do I do this? But they haven't really consolidated their choice or their decision in getting that goal. And that is the biggest problem. Most people are focused on how and when will it come not what it is they want and making that firm decision and intention to act. So to really get to where you want to, to really get to your goal, you must get into full acceptance, complete 100% acceptance of where you are right now and know fully where it is you would like to get to and consciously within yourself, make the firm decision to get there. That's the biggest secret. And that's basically going to set the tone for the next three videos that are coming up. So now let's get into the ultimate formula for manifestation. And this is called triple action. And again, this concept is taken from a book called Tough D the Priestess. This is again by Vadim Zeland as well. It's the sequel to the book, Reality Transurfing. So you should definitely read Reality Transurfing first before you get to this book. But you know, even though it's an 800 page book, it is still very, very powerful. And Tufty just shows you sort of techniques and a detailed understanding. It's basically high school level if reality transurfing is primary school level. You must know the foundations first before moving on to higher level stuff or else it won't make sense. So with that, let's get into this triple action. Understanding those three models of reality that we just discussed, the film and script, the uh, mirror model, and the taking massive action model, this is how it relates. So first of all, triple action is the ultimate manifestation formula taken from Tufty. The first thing that you want to do as a part of triple action is propel reality. And this again relates to that film and script model that we discussed. So propel reality means that you always set the impending frame. And in part two of this video, we're going to get deeper into propelling reality. So propel reality means you set the future frame. Propelling yourself means you work with a mirror so you can compose the reflection and you can compose images in this mirror so that you can get what you want. Propelling the current frame means doing whatever is necessary in this current moment, in this exact frame to manifest your goal. That is the part that relates to taking massive action. So just to recap, propelling reality is when you use the film and script model and you say, okay, what is it that I want? And you visualize that final destination. Who is it that I want to become? And you visualize that final version of you. Propelling the self means working with the mirror and means composing which image that you want and which reflection that you want in reality. And right now this isn't going to make sense. So definitely check out the mirror uh, model up here. Definitely click on that to make more sense of this. But in part, Three of this video, we're going to talk more about propelling the self. So make sure you check those out once they're out. So again, just a short recap, propelling the self means working with the mirror so you can just consolidate another layer to propelling reality. And really, this is the, the part that says acting as if is important. And we'll again discuss more of that later. Finally, propelling current frame is working towards your life's purpose and taking action to get there. If you don't know what your life's purpose is, that's totally okay. We're going to discuss how you can find that in one of the videos that follow. So either in part four or part five. So yeah, definitely stick around for those videos. And I hope you now at least understand the concept of triple action and what these things are. So propel reality, propel self, propel current frame. That is the ultimate manifestation formula. So stick around for the next few videos that are coming out. And you know, this is going to be a crazy firestorm on the law of attraction on reality trend surfing. So definitely stick around for that. So again, hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely stick out for the next videos. And also I'm excited to announce that I'm growing a massive Facebook group. If you haven't joined that yet, definitely click on the link below to join. And I'm also excited to announce that the reality mastery program is open for enrollment. And again, like we mentioned, the seed won't grow if there are necessary conditions. What the reality mastery program does is create necessary conditions for this seed to blossom. 
Now, what I've found in my personal life is that whenever I shifted to the ideal version of myself, I got what I wanted. When I became the attractive version of myself, I manifested my dream partner. When I became the uh, fit version of myself, the version of myself that has the physique that Quasi once I got the physique that I wanted. When I became the version of myself that's, you know, successful in school, I got a 4.0 GPA. When I became the version of myself that's a successful entrepreneur, I was able to quit my nine to five and take my passion full time. So all of these things were possible as a result of identity shifting. Your reality will massively shift. If you've been stuck in that stagnant reality the same day to day, every single day, and you haven't been seeing shifts, even though you try out techniques and you get little results here and there, This is all because you're not working at the deepest, most fundamental layer, which is the identity shift. And this is exactly what we do in the Reality Mastery Program. So if you're interested in the free consult, I'm still offering it now for a limited time only. Click on the link below to sign up and we'll take around 45 minutes to an hour long to diagnose your current law of attraction practices and to see how you can implement identity shifting into your life right now. So if you're interested, definitely click on the link below and I hope I see you there. Till next time. Peace.